Hi, um, welcome to my tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I render icons right out of Unity, especially animated sprites. So you can use Unity both as your engine and as your rendering program, kind of like Marmoset. Um, a lot of these things, they hold true both in the universal render pipeline and the high definition render pipeline. So sometimes if you want to get fancy lighting and stuff, you might want to make a project with HDRP. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is set up your camera. And it's pretty standard camera, but what you probably want to begin with is set your environment to a solid color and you can choose whatever color you want, but make sure the alpha is set all the way down to zero so it will be transparent. Uh, the other thing that works with the Unity recorder is you want to tag your camera. So add a tag uh, for your render cameras and um, that will allow uh, the recorder to pick out which camera is going to be used to render. So in the timeline, I can just turn this around easy, test how it looks, um, make sure it's the right size. And the other thing I want to do is I'll just put this uh, to the resolution that I'm going to be rendering out, or at least the aspect ratio. Um, the turntable is just a simple animation I made right in Unity. It's just the 360 degrees. So now we get started in the recorder. So you, first things first, you want to add a recorder. And uh, you can see there's animation clip, movie, image sequence, audio, and even FBX. So there's really a lot to choose from, but we're going to choose image sequence. And you can see I've already set this up. Uh, I have a tagged camera in the scene, and I just showed you its uh, render camera. Uh, one to one aspect ratio because these are going to be square icons and one of the things they've changed in the recorder in regards to uh, the render pipeline is uh, they don't have the alpha checkbox anymore um, but if you choose PNG and you make sure that texture sampling uh, is your instead of game view change it to texture sampling and since we have the transparent background, we should be able to get a PNG with an alpha channel. I'm going to call this bottle oil. So yeah, it does recordings. And uh, I'll make a folder called bottle oil. select this folder and so now it will be saved in there uh, you can add wild cards uh, so you can basically uh, this is just information you can add in the file names um, the next thing I want to do is basically figure out how many sprites I want on my on my sheet so I have recording mode, there's manual, there's single frame, and there's time, but I want to do frames. So I'm basically rendering out exactly 64 frames. So this should fit in a power of two texture. So I can arrange them as a square grid and they will be all lined up. So I start recording. It will think about it for a little while. Let's go. And here you, we, you hit this and you can open up and check to see how your sprites have rendered out. Looks good. Looks like they have transparency. So we're all set on that front. Next thing we're going to do is pack them into a sprite sheet. So I use Texture Packer as my sprite sheet creator. And what I'll do is I'll just grab this whole folder and put it in the sprites. And you can use After Effects, you can use a lot of different programs to, to 
pack sprite sheets. I believe Unity even has built-in functionality for it, but I really like uh, Texture Packer. I think it works very well. Um, I'm doing this as a 2048 texture and um, basically have it packed into a grid. So these are like identical size and the animation should stay consistent, it should stay in the same place. Um, so I'm going to save this out. I'll save it over this one. And then I'll just hit Publish Sprite Sheet. Okay, we're hopping back over to Unity. And then we open this folder where I keep all my Sprite Sheets. And we're going to go to Bottle Oil. And uh, in the inspector, we could see this, this has already been divided up because I've been um, getting the uh, sprite sheets in before. Uh, I open up my sprite editor and you slice, you say grid by cell count. I do eight by eight. And then I slice it up. You can apply. Okay, so now you have your sprite sheet and if you open up this file, you can see how Unity has cut these all up into separate images that be can be used in an animation sequence. For the animation, um, I just make a simple thing. Just make a little animation clip. Let's open this one up and you use image.sprite as your parameter that's being changed. So you can see uh, I just take these, um, these images from the sprite sheet, I drag it in, and Unity will put them all in the timeline. I put the sample rate to 30 instead of 60, so it's a lot slower. And uh, it should give you a nice turning animation. So that's how I render things out of Unity. You can use this for still frames, you could use this for character sprites, and you can use this for what we have, which is a 3D spinning sprites for the inventory screen. And this doesn't require run rendering 3D in the inventory screen, and it's a little more efficient in some ways, and a little less efficient in others. Um, thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope this was helpful.